heard about the agenda. <laughs> the amendment that we had about the agenda, having the agenda done a week ahead of time and published? Yes. What do you think that should be? Like I say, it's, it's just subject to adjustments right up to the last minute. It's, well, you can, you can amend, and I know the supervisors do this at their meeting, what they have, if something comes up that they want to add on, you can make a motion to amend or to add under old business or amend to add under new business. So I think we know for next meeting already <coughs> The, the zoning ordinance is going to be on there. We know the you know, so you could have a basic form, and it, it might just have that. And if something comes in last minute, yeah, you might not be able to get that in up until a week before, and that that will just have to be here. But at least they'll know. That, that would be but, my argument but, that you don't have to amend it. The nice thing about it, up there. Lee. The nice thing about it is if you're going to do something major like. Say you were going to reform part of the code, the, the book or something, and you guys said, "Well, we're going to do this in in May." And if that was on there, then it, or you know that section was on there, then we could see that and maybe have some input, you know, have some time to look at it. That's all. That's what would make it nice. Okay, so we'll go back to what we had originally. Tell me if I can ever find it. <laughs> it's in the ones I, did for the I, I thought you had something in there, or maybe it was the supervisors, and you guys sort of mirrored what they had. That if it was something urgent or important, yeah, exactly. they yeah. couldn't it's wait till next month's meeting, yeah, and then it could be added. Yeah. That's all. Yeah. So I, I don't think you need to. You can, you can get you can get a basic one up there <coughs> moving forward, and if, if there are things that come up that don't make it on there, you just have to make a vote. That oh. doesn't mean you can't oh. address it if it needs to be addressed. Actually, it's in the meeting on Thursday. Is there anything else to come before the board? Really? No. What again is the statute that that can be used uh, for farming? to make things like grandfathers of men and so forth. Uh, the, you mentioned one there. Things get grandfathered in, but that's, that's not specific just to farming. The, anything that's in existence right now. Okay, but I, I'm talking specific. I'm asking specific. I, I know yeah. that everything else, but I'm asking, you know, because it keep, what keeps coming up is that we have protection. Mm -hmm. From the state, yep. does that happen to be Acre, A C R E, which is a? I mean, one of them that's referenced there is the the Right to Farm Act. The Right to Farm. Some of those, and I don't know about the Right to Farm. I'll look it up, and we can talk about it next time. If not, some of those statutes, once you get zoning. It takes your protection away. Yeah. That the only way you can appeal to the one called Acre, which is uh, agriculture, communities, and environment. But it's but you lose it once you have Zen yeah. under Acre. I'm not. I'm and not sure okay, what, what it says normal. Okay, I'll look up the right to farm. We can talk about it next time. Thank you. Bob, the ag security area will protect you. No. If you're in it. Yeah, if you're in it. That's okay. why when the township was doing it, I know originally we were really pushing it to get all the farmers to sign up. Some would, some wouldn't. But if you're in that, mm -hmm. they can't touch you. Doesn't that... Uh I mean, isn't doesn't that give you restrictions and conditions? No, it does and, not. Yeah. It protects your farming. It does not restrict you in any way. It protects you. So zoning can't come in and say you can't do this, you can't do that because your ag security area is going to protect you. I didn't mean the zoning part of it, but it's saying well that I can run my tractor next to the 
fence line here where it's, if it's under, under the right to farm act if it's if it's i think the definition is normal farming operations or to the agricultural operations some of that effect, i'd have to look it up but those those are exempt the, the noise requirements the dust the the smell those all things as a if it's if it's in the pro, if it's in the on your farm and it's in regular farming operations you're exempt from that even if you're zoned whatever it might be you don't have to you are exempt from that but there's been a couple things come down it might exempt you from it but it doesn't there's acre won't even do anything if you're if you're in a municipality that said is what i took that from i, I don't know Okay. Yeah, I honestly don't know. Thank you. Yeah. That's the other something needs to be looked at to involve to protect the farmers. Sure. We're protecting the farmers from zoning? No, to, to make sure that the farmers are protected from it. Anything else? Are we good? We have a motion to adjourn? Yes. <coughs> that was <I'm> quick. <laughs> How do you vote? Yes. 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 I believe I'm just before, before the meeting, we found out. Yeah. 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 Kathy, if I could. Hey, Kathy, can I shut this off now? Huh? Yeah. 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 Yeah.